we have already completed the cyclicity of 1, 2, 3 and 4. In this lecture, we will complete cyclicity of 5, cyclicity of 6 and cyclicity of 7. We will start with cyclicity of 5. If you look at the unit place of these numbers, every time you will find 5. So simply, unit digit, unit digit will always be 5 always be 5 so this is what you have to remember in case of cyclicity of 5 unit digit will always be 5 if we have 5 raised to power n then unit digit will be 5 we don't know about these numbers but we know that unit digit is going to be 5 in the same way for cyclicity of 6 if you see these numbers you will find 6 every time so we can simply say unit digit will always be 6. Cyclicity of 5 and 6 are pretty simple. We always have 5 and 6 at unit place. Now we will move to cyclicity of 7. 7 raised to power 1 is 7. 7 raised to power 2 is 49. In the same way you can find up to 7 raised to power 8 and we have to focus on unit digit. For the first case, when 7 raised to power 1 is there, I have 7 at unit place, then I have 9, 3, 1. And for these 4 numbers, I again have 7, 9, 3, 1. So cycle of 7 is having 4 digits, 7, 9, 3, 1. Let me write this down. Cycle of 7 is 7, 9, 3, and 1. There are 4 digits in this cycle. Now we will move to example. In this example I have included the cyclicity of 5, cyclicity of 6 and cyclicity of 7. And we have decent knowledge to solve this example. We will focus on unit digit. I will neglect 1 9 from 195 and I will have 5. We will neglect 1 9. In 2 6 6 we will neglect 2 6 and we will have 6. And in this number we will neglect this part and we will keep 7. So from here we have 5 raised to power 69 multiplied by 6 raised to power 1 1 2 multiplied by 7 raised to power 87. 5 raised to power 69 we have to find unit digit and it is very simple we always have 5 at unit place. So 5 raised to power 69 will have 5 at unit place. 6 raised to power 1 1 2 will have 6 at unit place and for 7 raised to power 87 I will divide 87 by 4 and this will give me remainder equal to 3 and we have to select the third term the third term is 3 so 7 raised to power 87 will have 3 at unit place now you can see 5 raised to power 69 is multiplied by 6 raised to power 112 so I will multiply 5 by 6 and 6 raised to power 112 is multiplied by 7 raised to power 87. So I will multiply 6 and 3. And the result is equal to 9090. And we have to find unit digit of this multiplication. So we will neglect this 9 and we have 0 as answer. 0 is the digit at unit place of this multiplication. You can see it is very easy to find unit digit even for this huge multiplication. Now we will move to homework problem homework problem you have to find unit digit for 55 raised to power 66 multiplied by 66 raised to power 55 multiplied by 77 raised to power 65 you have to find digit at unit place and once you have your answer post it in comment section this is all for this presentation see you in the next one